People will always make fun of something they don't understand, and they might even call you crazy. But when you actually succeed, everyone will cheer you on and say, I knew he would make it. The best example of this is Musk's SpaceX. When Musk first started SpaceX, many experts expected him to go bankrupt in a couple of years. In fact, SpaceX struggled to keep up with other established companies during its early years and was on the verge of bankruptcy in 2008. But Musk never gives up. He took the company from the brink of collapse and turned it into the most successful and innovative space company in just a decade. The people who laughed at him back then are now admiring his achievements. Yet again, when he talks about his goal of reaching Mars soon, many people think he's just saying it for publicity. But I'm sure he will prove them wrong once more. Now, Musk has made some crazy plans for the upcoming fifth flight, and we are going to talk about it in this video. Before we dive into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates in the future. As we all know, SpaceX has already launched the Starship rocket four times, and each launch has shown significant improvements over the previous one. The time it took them between these test flights have also been shortening. From the first test flight to the fourth, the waiting times have progressively decreased. The first flight on April 20, 2023, used Ship 24 and Booster 7. This launch experienced several issues, particularly with the launch pad and the rocket's technical systems, leading to significant delays. The second flight on November 18, 2023, involved Ship 25 and Booster 9. This flight did not repeat the issues encountered during the first flight and successfully performed stage separation, although both stages were lost thereafter. The fourth flight in mid-2024 involved Ship 27 and Booster 11. The flight included new features like improved flight termination systems. The upcoming fifth flight will utilize Ship 30 as the upper stage and Booster 12 as the super heavy booster. These are the most advanced prototypes so far for several reasons. Ship 30 has undergone significant upgrades, including a reinforced heat shield with twice as strong ceramic tiles and an additional silicone felt layer for extra protection during re-entry. Booster 12 includes improvements in the hot staging section, which is crucial for stage separation. Unlike previous versions that had to jettison this section to reduce weight, the new design allows for enhanced quick turnaround capabilities without discarding parts. Booster 12 also benefits from upgraded roll control thrusters, which improve control during the landing process and minimize issues like valve clogging. SpaceX is implementing even more changes to the Starship in preparation for this upcoming launch. One of the most crucial upgrades involves the Starship's heat shield. In previous tests, some tiles fell off, posing a significant risk. To address this, SpaceX plans to reinforce the heat shield with a secondary layer of protection. Musk confirmed on Twitter that the new tiles would be twice as strong as their predecessors, significantly reducing the likelihood of them cracking or coming loose. Additionally, SpaceX will implement a silicone felt layer beneath the tiles, which, although not reusable, will provide an extra layer of safety in case any tiles are lost. Beyond the heat shield, SpaceX is also focusing on upgrading other critical components of Starship. SpaceX is working on a new design for the hot staging section that will enhance Starship's quick turnaround capabilities without the need for discarding parts. Another anticipated upgrade involves the addition of roll control thrusters. These thrusters will improve control during the landing process, reducing issues like valve clogging that have occurred in previous flights. Starting from prototype ship 29, these thrusters have been integrated into the design, and their performance will continue to be refined in subsequent prototypes. Another exciting change for the upcoming flight is the re-entry profile of the Super Heavy Booster 12. After successfully landing both stages in the ocean, SpaceX now aims to catch the booster using the Mechazilla arm starting from flight 5. This approach involves the booster steering itself towards the catch tower and has never been attempted by any other organization. If the booster detects any issues, it will divert and safely land in the ocean. This automatic adjustment ensures the safety of the launch tower while aiming for a successful catch. During the fourth flight, SpaceX used a virtual tower to simulate the catching process instead of the actual Mechazilla tower. 
This virtual tower test was designed to gather data on the booster's ability to navigate and position itself for a precise catch without the risk of damaging the actual tower. Musk stated that the successful execution of this virtual tower catch gave SpaceX the confidence to attempt the actual catch in the upcoming flight. Mechazilla, equipped with massive chopstick arms, is designed to catch the returning Super Heavy booster out of midair. These arms, attached to a 145-meter-tall launch tower at SpaceX's Starbase, are engineered to withstand extreme conditions and handle the immense weight of the booster. The concept behind Mechazilla is to enable rapid reusability by catching the booster and placing it directly back on the launch mount, ready for refueling and relaunch within hours, rather than the days or weeks required for traditional recovery methods. Unlike the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy boosters, which land on drone ships equipped with landing legs, the Super Heavy booster is much larger and heavier. The Falcon 9, for example, stands about 70 meters tall with a liftoff weight of approximately 549,000 kilograms, while the Super Heavy booster is around 69 meters tall but significantly heavier, designed to carry much larger payloads. This increased size and weight make traditional landing methods impractical for Super Heavy, hence the development of the Mechazilla system. By catching the booster with Mechazilla, SpaceX eliminates the need for landing legs, which reduces weight and complexity. Looking at the success of the fourth flight, many experts predict the fifth flight will be near perfect and might even carry some payload to orbit. Although almost a week has passed since the fourth flight, the FAA was still reviewing the launch, and they finally released their findings. What made the fourth flight approval process different was that the FAA and SpaceX reached a unique agreement before the launch took place. SpaceX proposed three specific scenarios that would not require a mishap investigation. The failure of the vehicle's thermal protection system during re-entry, the failure of the vehicle's flaps to provide control during re-entry, and the failure of the Raptor engines during the landing burn. The FAA analyzed these scenarios assessed the risks, and confirmed that they met public safety requirements, subsequently approving them. This agreement meant that if any of these three issues occurred during the flight, SpaceX and the FAA would not have to conduct a formal mishap investigation. This was a significant shift from the standard procedure, where any failure typically triggers a detailed investigation. By pre-approving these scenarios, the FAA allowed SpaceX to focus on the overall mission success without the potential delay of investigations. During the fourth flight, SpaceX indeed encountered several major problems. For example, there was an engine failure, loss of heat shield, and damage to the flaps. While these issues indicate that repairs and upgrades will be necessary, the pre-approved scenarios mean that the FAA can overlook the engine issue, as it was part of the agreed conditions that would not trigger a mishap investigation. This streamlined process allows SpaceX to prepare for the next flight without the usual procedural delays. The issue with the flap will also be reviewed rather than investigated by the FAA. During the descent, one of the flaps failed to operate correctly, resulting in a loss of control. Despite this, Starship managed to complete a soft landing in the ocean. The FAA's working process after Flight 4 is expected to be greatly shortened. This flexibility, combined with the new pre-approved scenarios, means the next target, Flight 5, is even closer. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.